Uh, if I understood what this crypto shit was, I would definitely fucking tap into it, but not with my heart. You know, really rude, you know? If that makes sense. You know, but like, I honestly think too, it's like, um, I don't know, it's like uh, the whole vibe of like the art world, it keeps on flipping and shit. And like, you know what? I'm thinking like, fuck this vibe. I don't even care what vibe it is. You know, I just want to do my shit, but I also want to be able to fucking live off of it, feel good about it, and not try to do something that's like stylized, you know? Because style is the thing that kills everyone. Why even make art? Yeah, dude, if I could do math or something else, I would definitely be doing that instead of art. I want to, like, work at a think tank. Why am I making art? Because I can't do anything else because I'm fucking an idiot, you know? It is fun to do, too, but it's fun when no one's judging. When people start judging, it fucking sucks balls. What is the point? There is no fucking point, dude, you know? I'm trying to convince my family, like, that I'm, like, doing something right. It's, like, I have to bring them Forbes 30 under 30 every year for Christmas. Like, look what I did, you know? So. Oh, thank you. Someone said my hair looks good. That's good. Um, but you know what I mean? It's, like, it's a, it's a fucking thing. Like, I'm trying to think of what the next version of art is. What could it be, right? And, like, you know, I was saying, like, fuck, this is, like, NFT shit and whatever. But, um. Why am I down on myself? Because I'm fucking depressed, dude. Who isn't? You know? So, I'm depressed because, honestly, like, uh... I did this... I... And if he's watching, it's fine. So, I did this show with Ashley Bickerton at the gallery. And we've been talking for two years. Fucking one of my favorite artists, right? All of a sudden, in the middle of the show. So, I opened a gallery in the Lower East Side... Or East Village, whatever. Doing a show with this amazing artist that I'm, like, in love with. He's this shit, I'm so inspired by him, and he's dying all of a sudden from ALS, right? He's a hot six-year-old with, like, a hot wife and, like, a beautiful kid. And, like, I'm not, like, a family loser and shit, but, like, damn, these people are so cool. And it's, like, why couldn't this happen to someone shittier, you know? So, like, I'm watching this, like, brilliant person deteriorate slowly in front of me, and, like, it made me, like, think, like, what the fuck am I doing, you know? And, like, it's... Sounds like bullshit, but I've been, like, crying every night about it. Cause it's like, damn, dude, like, this motherfucker deserves everything. And it's like, I'm just, I don't know. It's like, it's, I'm, it's probably a midlife crisis. <laughs> That's straight up what it is. It's a midlife crisis, I think, you know? I'm definitely having a midlife crisis where it's like, what is important in my life? Is it, like, family? Is it art? It's definitely art. Art's always going to be number one for me. I just, you know, you just don't know how to make it always when you're in a weird mood, you know? That's what it is. And also, it's like, um, I'm in this Venice thing, and it's, like, such a weird feeling. It's like, you know, I've worked my whole life to be good at something, and I'm here, and it's like, I made the most retarded painting of all time that I think is, like, the best thing in the world, and no one cares. It's like, I honestly think this is, like, my ape, this is, like, the point of my life where I'm, like, I'm proud of myself, and this is the painting. Which means, maybe I'm actually... I think I may be on the right track, you know, like straight up. I think that's kind of the, the thing, you know, I'm not even being facetious or jokey. I think that, like when you get to the point where it's like that level where like, you know what, that fucking stupid red cat painting feels good to me in the most important like art show in the world. That means you're doing something right in my brain and I'm probably retarded, but like this makes me feel good, you know. What happens, uh, let's see, someone asked a question and said... What happens when you don't care about making something new that is trying to be new? I don't even know what that means. That means. I just think, honestly, like, you just gotta do your shit, you know? But, like, once it starts looking like someone made it, like, with a vacuum cleaner, fuck it. You know? Um, it could be Dick Lauren, I'm not quite sure. I think it's better by itself, you know? These are so rude. Like, it looks good as a tic-tic, but, like, what am I, Julia Watchel? Would I make designer toys? Absolutely. You know what? If I could do a toy, like, not cause level, I would definitely do something interesting with a slinky or a Jacob's Ladder, like an old wooden toy. I think that's the move. Because it's, like, so out of the realm. It's so easy to fuck with, you know? 
I love Instagram Live. This is so weird. Our world pit. Yeah. No, I don't want to do a toy. I actually have a great idea, though. My, I want to be in a think tank, dude. You want to hear my next right? Wait. Would the, uh, would the cat painting work for you if it wasn't preceded by your other paintings? No. That stupid red painting only works because it's, like, in a bunch of, like, really dry shit. Everything else I did, you guys want to see what the booth looks like for my shit? Okay, here, I'll show you. Hold on. I'm, you're not going to be able to hear me, but hold on. Let's see. So. Hold on. Can you see it? Hold on. So, that was part of it, but I hate the uh, Scarecrow thing. I think, I think it's too cartoony splash stage for this shit. Because apparently you're supposed to be smart mm. and being all like, so. In what ways, hold on. Uh, in what ways can Instagram fuck up an artist's work the way they see other... Dude, honestly, like, every time I look at Instagram, I want to kill myself. I'm like, I see, like, some young motherfucker doing it. And it's like, damn. Here, I'll show you another one. So the, the the 2001 painting, Annie, was this. It's like the dumbest thing, another dumb thing I could think of here. I don't know if you could see it. So it was like basically like a Space Odyssey painting. This is starring Anna Nicole Smith. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you know, it's fine. Honestly, it's a fucking, it's like the armory, dude. It's like a really expensive, cool armory that you put under your belt, you know? But, um, now I don't have a New York gallery anymore, which is kind of stressful, you know? Because, like, I think New York's number one. I have a great gallery called Massimo Monte Carlo, and they're great. They show, like, fucking sick-ass people. And, like, I used to think they're, like, big-money douchebags. They're not, dude. Like, they show, like, um... Like, Maurizio Catalan and shit like that. And they're, like, not in America. And I was, like, these guys are kind of, like, like, you know, like, fucking, like, if anyone from All Mean Reich is listening, I'm sorry. But, like, that kind of gallery that sucks balls, like, you would think they'd be, like, cheese balling like that. They're not, dude. They, like, let me go wild, you know. And I trust them. So, like, now I have one gallery over there, but New York is really important, you know. So now I'm thinking, like, what the fuck do I do? And I think what I'm going to do is just... Represent myself until something feels good, you know, because honestly, if I represent myself, who cares? If I don't sell it, no one needs to know if I make really bad shit, you know what I mean? But complicated, you know, because like once, honestly, like I was so broke, I was like fucking homeless for like two years. And then I started like making a little bit of money. So I started like not going to like an $8 cigarette place and shit. And now it's like the level where it's like, you know, like. I'm going to Mew Mew. And, like, if I can, and like, I'm buying fucking pizza for everyone for, like, $400. And now it's, like, if I can't afford this shit, I was, like, dude, I set a tone for myself that is, like, really difficult, but I think it's important. <laughs> you know, and it sounds so lame. It is disgusting, but whatever. You know. What happened to your New York gallery? Um, honestly, I left her. Or she kicked me out, actually. I'm not going to lie. So I was showing at this gallery called JTT, and we were together for, like, 10 years. Like, straight up. It was, like, family shit, right? And we grew together and stuff, and then, like, shit just got contentious during quarantine. Either I was losing my mind, or she was, like, too sensitive and fake woke or some shit. But we just, like, hated each other. And then just, she came over, we played Mancala, we watched a bunch of fucking, like, uh, nature videos, and she's like, I'm kicking you out of the gallery. I was like, the fuck? So that was it. So now I'm kind of floating, you know? It's scary. It's really scary. Have you ever fought a homeless person? No, dude. I just give them money. You know? And honestly, um, can I tell you guys my little tip? I'm like a piece of shit, like sexist, racist piece of shit. But honestly, I don't give white people money. Straight up. Take a shower, please. Get a job that way. Keep it simple, stupid. Black people, they're not going to... Dude, no one gives them a fucking leg up. It's like they're born with, like, negative 10,000 points. Why would I give a white person money? Like, yo, bro, can I get some subway? Fuck you. You know? Why was I homeless? 
family shit. It's family shit. I never did drugs or anything. Like, my teeth suck, but it's not crack or anything. It was just, like, fucking bad fucking vibes, you know? But now we actually get along, so... If you could believe it. Family, and this is another thing. So, the art thing I'm figuring out right now, and the family thing I just figured out, I think... Now, too. Watch, I, like, actually like, die of cancer in a week. Jesus. Would I ever fight a white homeless guy? That, no, I don't like punching people. I'm actually a great punch, but I wouldn't. I think that with the family thing, like, listen, um, everyone's family is com- complicated, right? Unless you got molested, just make up with them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, straight up. Like, you don't have to like them, but you got to love them. You know? Because you're never going to another set of the shit. And if they suck balls, you get more bees with honey than vinegar. I'm telling you. It works for everything. There's, um, there's like a little, like, I was reading this stupid book. It's like, um, how to manage yourself or some stupid, like, self-help shit from the airport. And they said it's called, like, a shit sandwich. So if you want to get what you want from someone, it's also very manipulative. But if you want to get what you want, start, like, say you're sending an email to someone you don't know, right? So, like, say you're sending an email to, thinking of an example, like, someone who fucked up, like, some order you put on online, Right? And you've, like, talked to them on the phone for months. Like, hey, Susie. Like, oh, my God. Thank you so much. You were so on point with that shit. Blah, blah, blah. You give them a compliment first. Rip them up. Now, their own name. You know? So, if you start, like, saying something nice about a person, good. And the people actually will listen to you. And honestly, like, I keep on thinking about it, but there's no way you can get away with this shit. Like, some political crap is to get a fucking life. You know? Honestly, there is some shit that I think is on the questionable questionable edge. I just can't, like, do it off the top of my head. You know, I'm thinking, like, um, Tracy Emma needs to get the bullet out of her mouth. I've never seen anyone, like, take more photos that look like this. Like, Lily, dude, tampon bed, give me a break. Thank God she actually made neons cheaper for everyone else in the world at, like, every tanning salon, every, like, crabby matcha bar, but I hate it. Um, I don't eat sausage. Uh, do you get to see the next level in the art world that you want to get to? Yes, of course, dude. The next level is, like, literally doing what I want. And, like, literally having horse blinders on and everyone telling me to shut. Like, if, honestly, this is the next level I want to get to. Look. This. Like, honestly, if I could do this and put, like, a blob on it and people could trust me, that's the level I want to get to. Because I think it's important, you know? Like, honestly, like, I just do this take a photo and, like, put some, like, stupid shit on, like, anything. If I could just do whatever the fuck I want, if you could do whatever the fuck you want, people just trust you, like, think about, like, Ernst Fisher or some shit like that, like, the dude could, like, poop in a can. People are like, yeah, you know? That's the level where people actually trust you, you know? Um, yeah, I drink every night. I'm totally alcoholic, it's fine. Um, let's see. Who do you think made really great work and then they were written off at the end of their life? You know, it's funny. Um, if we're talking about cancel culture, everyone sucks. It's fine. What does it take to get there? Dude, I have no fucking clue. Adderall and like a projector. <laughs> it takes me Adderall on a projector and then that's how I got there, please. You know, not being like an idiot. You know, like... If you're looking at Peter Saul now and not, like, 15 years ago, you're fucking retarded, you know? Like, I think that one of the best, obviously, the best artists of all time, Andy Warhol, you know? I don't want to next, I, honestly, I was supposed to be on the show on the Smithsonian Channel, and I'm so glad I didn't do it, because, honestly, I'm a nerd, like, you guys, it's fine, like, it's, like, fucking 5, 10 here, I could talk to you guys all fucking day, but, like, imagine, like, trying to look like... On TV? Yeah, right, dude. I have a nervous breakdown, you know? No, I'm not kidding. It it takes Adderall on a projector. And then anyone can do it. But I'm not... I'm such an asshole. I'm so competitive. I'm like... I'm like so like... I need my little like airbrush loser zone. Like, please, just fucking leave me alone, you know? But... Someone asked me another question. Because I have five more minutes. I'll smoke one more cigarette and then I'm going to bounce. You think moving to a place like New York... Yes, dude. You cannot be in, like, some bumblefuck town. Even in L.A., dude. You cannot. Honestly, half of the shit is, like, being in New York. 
unfortunately. Like, you could be a fucking loser who makes crappy art, and, you know, some idiot will put you in a show on the Whitney. It's, like, that simple. You just got to be around, you know? Straight up. If there was an apocalypse and everyone but you died, would you still make art? No, I would definitely not make art. I'd be, like, like, I'd be killing myself, too. Do a flip? No. You know? Can you imagine, like, the worst? I would not make, I mean, yeah, maybe I would. I'd probably just be organizing shit until I died. How do you get so good at photo reels in school? Dude, I can't even draw. Are you kidding me? Dude, you want to see how I could draw? Watch this. Let me see something really fucked up. Hold on, let me find the phone charger. So, like, I'm telling you how bad I am at drawing, and this is fucking bad. Look. All right, here we go. Someone tell me to draw something quickly, ready? Give me something to draw. Quick, go. Anything. Well, what should I draw? A boob. That's easy. A bird. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to draw a bird with a pen. And look how bad this is. No, Roddy, I'm not having fun at all. I miss you guys. Come on. All right. Here's a bird. Shit. All right, ready? I'm going to do it in like two seconds. It's going to suck. Okay, here's my bird. Ready? Okay. Look, I even fucked up the perspective. That's like embarrassing. See? Terrible. I hate drawing. Come on. I know, dude. Yeah, but like, honestly. Wow. 91 people once I start getting fucked up and like really opening up is very cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like fucking weird. But like. Yeah, I would put it in the show. Honestly, this is a good show, actually. Yeah, I like things like this, too. It's like Catherine uh, Bernhardt, like, stopped being retarded, you know? Just kidding. Someone asked me my favorite cartoon of all time, and I think it's Lupin the Third, and I even breathe this shit. If someone said that I'm going to Gagosian, I wish. You know, what do you guys think of Gagosian? Good, Laura Owens, she's a friend. I'm not going to talk shit. Not my favorite, but I get it. Where am I? I'm in hell. Family Guy is terrible, but American Dad is pretty good. And Futurama bangs. And I'm not a Simpsons loser. Like, Simpsons, I get it. But it's like Seinfeld. Like, you're like, enough already, you know? So it's like... The next closest thing you could do. I, honestly, I love the, the South. The, ugh, the new South Parks are so good. I'm not telling you at all. You want a bad bitch? I have my fucking Cartman t-shirt with me. Oh my god, you guys gotta watch the Zipline episode about um, the, the South Park. Because I'll tell you. Hold on, wait. Hold on. Wait. So someone just, someone just asked, how come the most smartest way at a gallery opening is to prove how bad of an artist you are? I don't fucking know. Honestly, okay, if you guys, I'm going to ask you guys a question. So, like, you're all artists or whatever. You guys are, like, cool, not retard people, right? What would be, like, a real, like, what do you think, what would be a cool show you'd want to see? Don't give me something specific, like... Whoa, what if the birthday cake was so far? But, like, give me a kind of art that's, like, inspiring. Or something that's, like, damn, I've never seen that before. You know? Give me something like that. Like, something, like, it's kind of, like, insane. Like, you've never seen someone do a show like this. Don't give me, like, some dumb, like, one-liner, non-sequitur idea. Because we could do that all day. You know? See, you guys suck. Basquiat, Cowboy Bebop. That's not like a fucking idea. Give me an idea. 
Bingo is actually not a bad idea, but it's like too many complications. Um, no, an I full of Harry swim through now. Installation full immersion. Okay, that's good. What's an installation full immersion show? Hmm. I do agree that really weird. No, paintings are not good for something this interesting. You know. I don't know. I'm thinking, like, new kind of art, right? Like, what about, like, something... I don't know. I have no fucking clue. But, like, if I had to see a show that I was... I'm thinking about the things I like in life, right? I like free stuff. I like feeling good and smart. I like petting animals. And... So, I mean, like, put all those things in a fucking pile and that's good enough for me, you know? Like, I don't care about food and shit. I like minimal shit, too. So I'm thinking, like... Imagine something that you like. You know, I'm, I gotta wear sunglasses because I think I'm getting somewhere on... <sighs> Fuck, it's fucking cold in here. I was, like, sweating my balls off before calling Wait. Okay. I'm thinking about the things that we all like. Okay. We all like sex. We all like shopping. Right? We all like drugs. We all like comfort. Uh, we all like... A bunch of other shit, whatever, you know. If you put all those things in a nutshell, it's like, what? Maybe the show is just a good parent. Like a good, sexy, adopted parent. <laughs> you know? Like a furry parent. Like a parent with, like, dog fur that, like, buys you shit. It's like a really rich stepdad that looks like a puppy. But it's, like, somehow, like, manifested into an art show. Something that, it sounds, like, visually, it sounds so fucking lame, but, like... Whatever that thing would be. It's like someone tucking you in with like a billion dollars. You know? I think that'd be kind of good. Or like what about something really simple like banal. It's like, you know, like the stupid like satisfying videos. It's like that but with like emotional triggers. You know? So it's like, you know when you see someone like do like this kind of sh- Like ASMR crap. Like it's like uh, there's apps where you could like smush the peas and stuff. That but it's like emotional. Like personal. So, like, how could that work? Like, in a personal thing. Like, a stupid thing like that. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a pulse. Like, you know when you have a puppy or, like, a new animal or whatever. And, like, they miss their mom. And they have, like, the fucking weird, like, beat thing on it. Something like that. But not so, like, Carson Hall or cheesy, you know? Yeah. Parent... Furries are disgusting, and I have no interest in them. Honestly, if I've been on DeviantArt on Adderall like too many times in my life to look at furry shit again and again and again, furry people can just go to hell. I don't give a fuck. I, if I was a school shooter, I'd kill them all. Get a life. Seriously, you wear like a fucking Pokemon outfit and try to like fuck yourself, please. Get down. But honestly, like furries are the worst people. I also hate lesbians. No offense, whoever's listening who's a lesbian. I'm sorry. I think you suck. Lesbians, like, hate men and they hate women, too. <laughs> you know? Give me, like, some like, lame gay guy over that shit any time of the year. You know? What I see... Uh, what I think about the Whitney Biennale or Biennial... I didn't fucking go. I try to avoid as much art as possible. I think it's, like, honestly... It's, like, if you just think that's really cool, you just try to make a crappier, watered-down version of it that sucks. So... You know? But, like, I also think ceramics sucks. Ceramics suck. Um, I think video sucks. Honestly, I'm sorry. But, like, honestly, I can't even watch a fucking commercial. You're gonna make me watch you, like, go in slow-mo talking to your grandma in black and white? I don't think so. You know? Like, honestly, that's just gotta be, like, ten minutes long. My favorite... I don't have a kid. Every artist is a kid artist, please. But, like... Video art is the worst. The only good ones are like, um, what's, he's a good performance artist, Roman Signer, Swiss guy, really good. It's just like 90 seconds long and has no special effects, no cheeseful elements. It like does the job. It's great. You know, everything else kind of is like shitty. Like, I hate endurance art. It's like, I really don't need to see your lesbian armpits.